bound us to assemble here together, Lord. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that has come upon us, Lord, and that we us, Lord. And we just thank you right now, Lord. Lord, I just ask you to take me out and allow your Holy Spirit to come in. Use me right now, Lord, I'm not in there. Lord, that these nine people may be able to hear your word, Lord. Lord. And that they will come doers of the word and not just hearers, Lord. That they will leave here with something that they can come here with. And I just thank you, Lord Jesus, right now. I just declare that it's already done. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. for 
fulfilled all of God's commandments. All right. But Galatians 3 and 13 says he also redeemed us yes, he from the curse of the law. Yes, now, Deuteronomy 28 talks about blessings and curses. All right. Now, if you notice, he did not redeem us from the blessings of the law. All right, all right. So blessings are still ours to take today. That's right, that's right. Still ours. And that list of blessings that's listed in Deuteronomy 28, blessed shall I be in the city, blessed shall I be in the country, Bless the fruit of your, of your body and bless the fruit of your basket. Right. Bless when you come in and bless when you go out. Yeah. I believe, right. church, that Jesus is saying to us, if you like the blessings, All right. then take them by faith. That's right. That's right. By faith. By faith. Right. Take them. Right. Now, there are some of us that say, but I don't deserve the blessings. Well, well, do. Well, none of us deserve the blessings. Right. But we still get them right. because of Jesus. Because, right. because of Jesus, we still Thank get them, Jesus. whether we deserve them Thank or not. You, Jesus. Yes. Saints yes. of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is God's grace. All right. The law says we must deserve right. the blessings. Right. But the law is no longer here. Yes. Grace yes. is here. Yes. So take the blessings by grace through yes. faith. Believe God for the blessings, yes. church. Yes. Since grace is here now, All right. it is no longer a question of how much or how well we have kept God's commandments. That's right. All right. That's right. It's a question of how much we can believe God yes. for yes. his blessings. All the promises of God that, that they are they are all wrapped up in Jesus That's Christ. Right. That's right. We can say yes to all his blessings. All right. Because we are in Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. That's right. 7 Corinthians 1 and 20 said, we can say amen yeah. to right. his blessings. Yeah. Say amen, church. Amen. 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 You even want that you, 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 you can even wonder, and you ever wondered why in some Bible stories God asked people to give what little bit they have That's right. to him. That's right. Do you ever wonder about That's that? Right. Well, it may appear cruel, but it's not. That's right. But the truth is, God is setting them up for a blessing. Yeah. God's yeah. way is to use whatever we have to multiply it back to All us right. once we put it in his hand. Right. He's yeah. setting us up, church, yeah. for a blessing. When you think yeah. about the widow who only had a handful of flour right. uh, and a little bit of oil yeah. to make her last meal All for right. her and her son All before right. starvation. All right. uh -huh. But she trusted God and use a portion of that little bit yeah, that she had yeah, to make right. a cake for the prophet right, Elijah. Right. She was set up church. Right. Yeah. Right. God re rewards us by making sure that our heart, we reward her by making sure that her means was full. Right. I was setting her up. Right. But uh, uh, 1 Kings 17 and 6 says God sets up all of us for a blessing. Yes, yes, then right. there was a little boy who gave his, his little lunch. That's right, yeah, that's right. Of five loaves and two fish five to loaves. Jesus. All right. Not only did they eat weight, but that. also he saw it with his own eyes. He saw yes, Jesus he feeding over 5,000 yes, people. Uh -huh. And the 12 baskets of food was yeah, left over. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. He was set up so, for a blessing. Are you being set up today, church, right. for a blessing? Right. Do you know when you're being set up yeah. for a blessing? Yeah. God wants to set us up for a blessing. Yeah. But we can't be set up for a blessing unless we lose what's in one hand yeah. so God can put something in the other. We have to let go right. and give yes. Yes. whatever it is that we right. have, knowing right. that God is setting us up. And he's going to. I want you to know today whether it is money, That's whether right. it's time That's and right. energy, huh. All right. it opens your heart, church, yes, so God can fill you up yes. with more. Yes. If your heart is not open, All right. you can't give, That's and right. God right. can't give you back. That's right. yes. so, and when we give our lives to God, yeah. All right. We can trust him yeah. to make things right. That's right. That's right. And we become rewarders of faith. All right. All right. Blessings. Blessings. 
Blessings. Yeah. Blessings just flow yeah. in our lives. Yeah. God is setting us up, church. Yeah. Even right now as I speak, yeah. He is setting us up. Yes. Don't you know that whatever you are doing for God, you being set up? You being set up for a blessing. God wants to bless you. He loves As we trust God with what we have. That's right. We know that he loves us. Yes, yeah. We know that he is setting us up yes, for a blessing. Yes. Right. We can expect his provision. That's right. We can expect his abundance. Yeah. Church, our God is a reward yes, of those yeah. who seek him. Yes, you seek God and God will set you up. Yeah. 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 Now, the world can set you up. All right. Money can't set you up. Right. But God can set you up for a blessing. Yes, because his blessings are not the same. Right. I don't care how much you get. God is no respecter of person. Right. He don't care nothing about what you got or your, right. your perspective right. in life. That's he don't care right. nothing about that. Right. Right. But he wants you That's to right. diligently yeah. seek him. Yes, and when yes. you diligently seek him, he will set you oh, yes. for a blessing. Yes. When we keep God first in our lives yes. and do our best to honor him, right. the scripture says we are set up for his blessing. Right. And his blessing will chase us down. Yeah. Will overtake us, Deuteronomy says. This means we will come into increase. Church, we will come into promotion. That's right. We'll have good breaks in our lives yeah. that we don't even necessarily deserve. Right. But because we are set up for yeah. us, yeah. God will bless us. Yeah. That's God rewarding us yeah. for walking in his way. Oh, yeah. Ruth was out in the field, falling behind the other yes. workers, yes. gathering up the leftover wheat that the gleaners had left. That's right. She was trying to take care of of her mother, grandmother-in-law Naomi. That's right. But they were barely surviving. All right. And one day the owner of the field told the workers to leave a handful of yes, wheat he did. on purpose yes, for Ruth. He did. Right. Ruth came into her blessings. That was simply dropped at her feet. Yeah. yeah. She was set up That's for right. a blessing. All right. Every one of us in here, children and adults, can look back and see that when there was a time right. where God has left us a handful of things. And if you have a case where That's God right. has, has left you a handful of purpose, something is wrong. That's right. That's right. Something that we didn't deserve, right. God left it for us. Right. And something that we didn't even ask for, right. but God right. left it for All us. Right. Yeah. Praise right. be to God. Yeah. We just kind of stumble into it. That's right. All right. That's right. That's yeah. God wants to set us up for a blessing. For a blessing. Yes. yes. So we have to live with an attitude That's of it. expectancy. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You got to expect God to do something in yeah. your life. Yeah. 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 This morning, we, uh, somebody was saying, I can't remember who said it, we were so dry and, and we, we, you know, we weren't praising the Lord. We, well, you, you got to come here expecting something. All right. 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 Expecting right. God to do something yeah. different yeah. in your life that He's done before. Yeah.
pray to God and ask God the things that are on your heart, yeah. the things that are needed in your life. Need. You ain't got to go pray to somebody else and right. complain to somebody right. else that your life be as we made. Right. You don't need to do it. You need to tell God. God. He will set you up for a blessing over and over again. Praise be to God. So if we want to see God's goodness, if we want to see our dreams accomplished, All right. Because we know good things are overtaking us. Right. And we know that we are set up for a blessing. Then our enemies that come after us, that debt that's haunting you, that defeat that you just couldn't get out your head, that lack, let me tell you something. All becomes God's blessing. And all of God's blessing will overtake you. Even the, the Deuteronomy say, even your enemies. And they'll come after you one way. And they'll be scattered seven ways. Because God's blessings is overtaken. You have to know God. And you have to know this word. Blessings will overtake you in the city. Deuteronomy says it will overtake you in the sea. Blessings shall call thy enemies to flee. And all that you eat set your hands to, God will bless it. God has established us as a holy people yes. through yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. So we are called by the name of the Lord. The Lord shall open up his good treasures. This is what Deuteronomy said. He said the Lord shall open up his good treasures, the heavens, and give the rain to the land and the sea. Yes. And we shall live and not follow. We shall be the head and not the tail. We shall be a good and not a knee. And we shall not go aside from the word of God to the right or to the left. Church, we shall seize the promise of Psalms 91. Long life will I satisfy you. All right. I'll show him my salvation because we are set up for the Lord. Praise be to God. Set up. <laughs>